Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Droid Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Far Light 84 is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck or loaded screen and even black screen issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here at this particular icon go over here on the power icon over there and go for a restart so once the restart is done we just need to try launch the game and that is how it's going to work for you guys as well so once you're done with this one if still the issue is not there we can move to the next step that is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder so most probably we launch the game from the steam which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue we need to launch the game from the installation folder so we just need to click over here in the play button so most probably it end up in not working so if that is the case just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties we have to go to the install it file and we just need to click on the browse now from here if you check over here at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common far light 84 so this is what it is now from here we have to launch the applications and we have to play the game so try launch the game from here and it might work for you in many cases it worked for many users so you can try launch the game and that will be working fine for you guys as well in some cases it won't work so if that is the case we have to try with the next step so hence we are in the installation folder i'm going to show you this we can try with running the game as an administrator which is we need to go over here right click and we have to go to the show more option go to properties compatibility go for run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok so try launch the game so this might work for you guys as well so for many users when they run the game as an administrator it worked for them if that is not working we can try with running the game in the compatibility mode for this we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to show more options and we have to go to the properties compatibility just click on run this game in or program in the compatibility mode if you're on windows 7 we have to select windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok or if you're on windows 8 i mean you can try with windows 8 as well so if that is working for you just go for windows 8 so just close this go over here you can try with windows 7 as well as windows 8 we can go for ok and we can try with this if this is not working we can try with the next one that is all about we need to make sure the date time language and region has to be correct for this we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings now from here we have to go to the time and language go for date and time and make sure this is turn it on as well as this is turned it on we have to turn on both these things we have to go back and we need to go for language and region now from here you have to select the country according to your geography once you set this up we just need to close this and we need to go back we need to try launch the game once again sometimes it might work so sometimes it won't so if this issue issue is still there we can try with this one that is all about we need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so just click on the play button over here and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so it worked for many users so just press alt and tab now launch the game and this might work for you as a, this might work for you so you can try with this one if that is not working we can try with the next one next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer and we have to go to this pc and we have to go to the documents and if you find the folder over here you, you can delete the respective folder that is far light if we will be finding the folder just delete it so you have to keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game when you delete it so just delete it once you delete it you just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search and we have to go to the control panel now go to the system and security go to windows defender firewall now go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to scroll down and we have to navigate to far light 86 so right now as you can see far light 84 is what it is it's already added make sure the private and public should be checked so if if you wanted to add the game you can add it so for this we just need to click over here in the change settings if the game is not there we have to know how we can fix it so just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse now from here we have to click on the browse now from here we have to navigate to the game 
So in my case, I think I have installed it on D. So just let me go over here in the Steam library, go to Steam Amps, go to Common. So here, uh, the game is not here, so I have to go back. I think it is on C. So go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, go to Steam Amps, go to Common, go for far light 84, select it, just open this and we have to add it. So right now, here already the game is not, uh, game is there. So if, if, if it is not there, this is how we can add this. Once afterwards, just close this and we have to go back and we need to try and launch the game. Still the issues there we can try with the next one. That is all about we need to unplug all the USB devices. Sometimes when you many might be connected controllers, Logitech wheels, etc. might be connected which is causing the issue. So we have to unplug everything and unplug all the USB devices and once after this try launch the game and that will be working fine for you guys as well. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. For this we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go to the system configuration go for services and we have to go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok so you can go for restart those users who are watching this you can go for restart but rest everyone can go for exit without restart the users who are watching this go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit without restart because i'm here in the middle of shooting so i'm gonna go for exit without restart now go back and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go to the game right click and go to the properties go over here and make sure this is turn it on if it is turn it on we have to turn this off now from here we need to try launch the game if that is not working we can try with the launch option this is also a possible workaround which worked for many games like remnant 2 ratchet and clank rift apart and even it worked for many games so just go over here in the launch option so the first command is dx11 first command is dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game so if dx11 is not working or dx12 is not working we can try with this one and still the issues there we can try with the next one next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application so we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to the task manager now from here as you can see will be able to find there are a lot of things running in the background so when you are launching the game at the same time these things are running in the background which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to find the unwanted thing which comes under the category for example discord reward tuner msi afterburner etc all these things come under these category of overlay and overclocking application so just remove everything close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card just go over here in the search we have to go for graphics settings now from here we just need to go over here and we need to add the game so just click on the browse go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam go for steam amps and we need to go for common now select this one and we have to add it so we need to add the game so we will be able to find this so once you add the game so you can go over here and we'll be able to find it so you'll be able to find it over here so just add the application and once you add it you'll be able to find it so once afterwards just go to the option and by default this is let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you save this go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we need to increase the virtual memory just go over here in the search and go for view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go to the setting once again advance it once again go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size that is initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here find a calculator type your ram so my ram is 32 gb type your ram multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 so that is this one just copy this and we have to paste it and next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to type 32 gb 1024 into 3 and we have to go for 98304 and we have to paste it and once you set this value just go for ok everything and try restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about we need to update the windows just go over here and we need to go to the settings over here we need to go to the windows update over here and update the windows and make sure the windows is up to date once you update the windows try launch the game and most probably that is going to help you guys out even the issues there you can also try updating the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both geo nvidia as well as the amd if you're on the nvidia just go over here select every details and if you search for search for it will be getting the released version like 536.99 
which is the latest release version so just download this install a restart is a mandatory if you're on the amd just select every details over here you have to select every details go for submit and you will be getting two options if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one install a restart is a mandatory so if you're on the uh, you can also try installing the microsoft you should see plus plus because it worked for a few just go over here and if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one restart is a mandatory and try launch the game last and the least one is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here go to the manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you can try back installing back to the same but keep in mind you should be changing the position of local disk from c to d and these are the possible workaround which can be done and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye